Today. All right, Ryan. Uh, what? Who do we have next here? Whoa! Uh. That, that's a T-Rex. That, that's a T-Rex, man. Wait, wait. How old is he? Uh, so this is Scamp. He is a one-year-old Tyrannosaurus Rex. Oh, wow! One years old, huh? So he's still just a little guy. Yep. Uh. So, uh, uh, when do these guys uh, become adults? Um. Well, Tyrannosaurus took about 18 or so years to reach adulthood. Uh, wow, and he's only a year, so he's got lots and lots of room to grow, eh? Yeah, he's got a lot of room to grow. Uh, so uh, how heavy is he going to be once he uh, gets all big and whatnot? Um, well, the largest T-Rex we know of, well, mostly complete, is Sue up in Chicago. She's estimated to have been about nine tons. Nine tons? Nine tons, yeah. Wow, that is one giant dinosaur. Yep. So, uh, do you know any big uh, Tyrannosaurus Rexes? Um, well, I have one right here. Y wait, you do? Yeah. It's bigger? Bigger oh, than no. Scamp. This is gonna be great. I can't wait to see. I can't. Whoa. Is this a adult Tyrannosaurus Rex? Not even close. Oh, oh, wow, wow, okay, okay, so who do we have here? Well, this is Magnolia. She is meant to be a two-year-old Tyrannosaurus Rex. Oh my gosh, she's big for two. Yeah. Okay, all right, so uh, please, this puppet here looks very, very intricate, and uh, tell us how you make these. Um, well, the body is made out of, made out of foam um, layered over wire. It's hollow because it needs to be carried around, so it needs to be lightweight. Yeah, yeah. Um, the heaviest part of the body is actually the head because the head is controlled by these modified garden shears. Oh, I see, I see. Mm -hmm. Very nice, very nice. Yeah. Okay, so now uh, please tell me why, Ryan, do you make these puppets? Well, these dinosaur puppets, I, I think it's a, education is really important with a museum. And, and as do I. Yes. I mean, that's the point of a museum. Absolutely. Mm -hmm. And um, kids are often a lot more engaged when you have live animals, like in a zoo. Um, I love zoos. Yes, exactly. Yeah, with all the monkeys and whatnot. Yeah. Yeah, um, but in zoos, um, they have what is called, what are called animal ambassadors, which are basically animals that are represented in the museum, but they take them out for guests to interact. Ah, with wow, that's it. awesome. Yeah, like uh, I can pet the uh, I can pet the monkey, right? Yeah, I would love to pet that. <laughs> okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. Right. So, uh, so uh, why do you love it so much, though? Is it just the education, or like, is it uh, you know therapeutic for you? Well, I, I've always liked dinosaurs. I've always yeah. loved dinosaurs, and um, when I was really young, I wanted a pet dinosaur. Oh yes, I would love a pet dinosaur. I would love, yeah. And of course, at some point in time, you realize. You can't really have a pet dinosaur. Sadly, yes, that's the case. Mm -hmm. So I decided if I can't find a pet dinosaur, I'll make a dinosaur. Well, you, sir, are brilliant. Thank you. Absolutely. I love it. Okay, well, that wraps it up for our volunteer spotlight. Ryan, thank you so much for being here and showing us all your awesome little puppets and your pets. They're very, very pretty. Oh yeah, no problem. Thanks. Absolutely. So, well, with that being said, guys, um, this little dinosaur here is looking a little hungry, so uh, I better get going here. Yeah, it's about her feeding time. Uh, okay, I gotta, I gotta go, guys. Please, uh, please like and subscribe. Ah! <laughs>